into the house of prayer, Lord God. And we just thank you, Lord God, for being so gracious, Lord God. Not only keeping us, but keeping our fellow men, Lord God. Because we are here independent on one another, Lord God. And we just thank you that we can see all the faces this morning come back. No hurt, harm, or danger came to nobody, Lord God. We thank you, we praise you, and we love you, Lord God. We just come this one, Lord God, to give you what you so rightfully deserve. And that is in Jesus' name, Lord God. We come to give you the praise, the glory, the honor, Lord God. Because you didn't have to do it. But you sent your only begotten son, Jesus. So that we may have the right to the tree of life. That we may be able to come this morning and give you the praise that you so rightly deserve. In Jesus' name, amen. amen. This little light of mine, I'm going to let it shine. <coughs> Pastor's teaching this morning. He will be out momentarily. Pray for the first lady. Uh, she's home with COVID. COVID. All right, ma'am. So keep her in prayer. Amen. Right, ma'am. She says she's doing okay. You know, nothing, nothing great, but you know, we don't know what tomorrow holds. So keep her in prayer this morning. Amen. Right, and you know, we're going to have a good time. We got a good Sunday school. Pastor teaching this morning. Amen. Right, ma'am. Everybody prepared, amen. Smile, smile. We over here on this side, y'all looking all just, just smile. God has been good to you. He woke you up this morning, amen. You might not want to believe that, but God taught you with the finger of love. If you can do this here and release, God damn doing that. You didn't do that. It don't matter about your age, because you're, you're, you're 15, 12, God still got to wake you up. And it's a choice. You don't have to. So you should be thankful. Some kids this morning have nowhere to stay. Nobody's taking care of them. You're in a warm house. Food on the table. Clothes on your back. And we think that it's automatic. It's not automatic. It's all because God loves you. Amen. Now we have Pastor here for our Sunday school. Let's give him a hand. Amen. Good morning, good morning, good morning. How many know this today that the Lord has made? Let us rejoice and be glad in it. Man, y'all working me today. I'm getting y'all money worth today. 
Amen. Uh, let me get to this book. And this is a great lesson today. Uh, I'm going to charge you. Sister Mary got me up teaching. She done went called Corona. Yeah, you owe me. <laughs> Look at this. An interceding. No, that's the wrong one. That was last week. What's today? Something else, but <laughs> an interceding cupbearer. <laughs> now we're gonna get through this book. I like this book. I can teach out this book right here, man. An interceding cupbearer, Nehemiah chapter one, eight through eleven, chapter two, one through ten, and chapter two, fifteen through twenty. Amen. What will my group learn? That God empowers his people to fulfill the mission he gives to them. God will inspire and empower his people for the mission he gives them. Here's the deal. Are you doing what he gave you or you just made up something? And a lot of times our problem comes because... We're not on the same page with God. We don't we even consult God. We just out here, we just out here freestyling and willing nil and want him to bless that. That ain't how God rose. No, 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 no. That, that's not how he rose. You know, when you look at this point number one, uh, success in the Lord's mission is based on lasting promises. It ain't based on how well you do it. God operates out of his promises. You can go to the word and see what he said. And watch and see the line up with it. Do you hear me? It's every time he... See, we got to know how God rolls. And the only way you know how God rolls, you got to get in that word. You freestyle. How you do life ain't how God rolls. Now, when you know how God rolls... Your life is gonna ri- gonna line up with him right with him driving. Yeah, right, yeah. I tell people all the time that don't matter. You too you too excited. You too excited. You talk too much about God for you to be mad all the time. Yeah. You talk about God too much to be mad all the time. Nothing nothing makes sense to you. You you mad about everything. You mad because you're bad. There ought to be see we talking about we get win God. There ought to be some love shown around here. We don't even like each other sitting in the church. We always putting each other on blast. I used to do that. Uh, somebody, he's still doing No, I'm doing like that anymore. No I used to call your name out when I'm preaching. Don't know what you say? Nobody used to say. I don't call your name now. <laughs> you, know, you know what I say? You know what I say now, Mom Dad? You know I was talking to a member. Now only you gonna get this. Y'all so slow. When, when, I, when I just say, you know, I was talking to a member, and this is what we're saying. I ain't call your name. And don't nobody know what I'm talking about with me and you. But I used to call you by your name. So what you saying, Joy? Trust me, that would mean that prayer every conversation. You have to grow, man. And God has a way of doing things. Yes. And you're going to be able to find it in the scripture. Yes. We're back there talking, right? This is free. I talked to my men class. The class I talked to my women yesterday. We were talking about uh, in the Bible when they start talking about Eve. Well, I thought Adam had another wife. 
Well, yeah, he's here. Okay. Uh-huh. It said that he Adam was by himself. And then he created Eve from him. Right. Now, if he had another one, then the, the, the Bible is a lie. Right. Well, say <laughs> We have to stand, y'all, on this. Yeah. See, did nobody twist your arm to come to Christ? Right. Did nobody make you take, and, and did nobody show to make you come here? Right. Some of y'all are suspect. Mm-hmm. When you say you accept Jesus, as your personal Savior, yeah. which gives you access to God, yeah. this is the book they give us. Right. Now, can you learn about God outside this book? Absolutely. Mm-hmm. You can go outside and watch God. Right. You can look at people and see God is real. Look at them. Right? They walk with one leg higher than another. You know God is real. Mm-hmm. You, you, you know what I'm saying? But, but, but this is the book we pick. I don't care what other book you read. I don't care number what you're talking about. Yeah. Well, what are we wrong? I'm writing this because this will come with this. Yeah, right. I'm not wrong. Right. Now, you're wrong if you want more than one. Mm-hmm. <laughs> kind of like me, when you want more than one man, more than one, more than one woman, you don't open your appetite to too much stuff. Yeah. Yeah. Nehemiah couldn't function mm-hmm. with all that other stuff on his mind. It's, it's inclusiveness with God, not variety. Yeah, yeah. Your variety comes from Him, yeah. not outside of Him. Because yeah. He's the one that instructs you. Yeah. His voice is the voice you listen for. Yeah. And you move when He say, move. Let's get to the text. Let's, 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 let's do the setting. The book of Daniel, Ezra, Nehemiah, and Esther all contain stories of God's people in exile, right? After generations neglected uh, neglected God and his instruction, the Lord did exactly what he said he would do. Replace the blessings of his covenant with curses through exile in Babylon. See, see, that is right there. I got this stuff for you. But you got to do it the way I say do it. Or you don't get it. Or if I give it to you and you violate it, then I have the right to take it back. Because it's mine. You know how you buy your daughter, your kid, and you give them a cell phone, okay? Cut your phone off at 9 o'clock. You go in there at 9.15, they're on the phone. I thought I told you 9 o'clock. Yeah, you can't. You let them make it. Okay, I'm going to be the sensible parent here. I'm going to let him make it up. But you go in there every day. You just you don't even let them know this, you see him. Come on, parents. You just you just peep game. You don't even say nothing. Oh, okay. Oh, okay. Wait a minute. Oh, okay. God said, is this what we're doing? Now I'm finna put you in, I'm finna lock you up. I'm finna curse you because you disobedient. Yeah. Now, how many of us are being cursed because we did so? Oh, okay. well, well, I wonder why this ain't working. Are you doing it the way God say do it? He tell us exactly how to get it. Stand on my promises. I'm obligated to stand on the promises. I'm telling you how to lock my hands. Stand on that. That's what I am. That's me. When you stand on that word, I'm the word. Wow. Look at this, y'all. Here we go. He was a cupbearer. We're going to get to this boy. We're going to get to this boy. But the Persian Empire took control. The possibility of going home became a reality. Yet the heroes of the exile find themselves in a state of flux. Could they be forgiven of their sins? Was God still with them? In each of these books, God's answer is clear. Yes. Okay, wait a minute. Even in exile, he said, 
I'm going to put you in bondage for a certain amount of years. And at the end of the, if it's 70 years, at not 70 years in a day, at the end of 70 years, you're set free. Oh, you don't hear me. I, remember I tell you all the time, there comes a point when God says that's enough. Only God knows how long he's going to put you through that. And when the time is up, Sister Pride, you know what God said? That's enough. You messed up, but I still love you. Oh, God. Now I'm punishing you because you messed up. Because I need you to understand you're still my chosen people. And watch God. While you in bondage, you live like them. You enjoy what they enjoy. Because I'm really going to get them. Ooh, I'm really going to get them. But I'm going to let them get you for right now. But in the end, I'm going to let you be free and take them out. y'all. But when you're talking about an awesome God, what a mighty God. Why would you not serve a God like that? Think about you right now, how you really think. Some of the things you do. Some of the stuff you don't do. But yet God still... Or maybe it's just me. Find myself doing stuff I know I ain't supposed to be doing. Y'all some say y'all even say yeah. You know, I'm in problem. Like, why in the world am I here? But I can't leave. We don't got that variety. We don't live to sin. See, we was born in sin, and shaped in iniquity. We error just because of sin. But what a mighty God we serve, daughter. You got more stuff now you ever had in your life and you probably live in the junkie. Oh, yeah. yeah. In some areas. Yeah, yeah. There are some areas you know you need to be working on, but God said, you don't that, that does not stop God from being God in your life. That's why we supposed to enter into his gates with thanksgiving and into his court with prayer because only you know. Listen, not me. I don't have to be at your house. I, I can't be at your house all the time, but only you know. How wretched you really are. Only you know how crazy your thoughts really are. But God is a God of another chance. And he punishes you. He will punish you. He'll whoop you. That's why he say he, he, he'll, he'll get that hide, man. He'll, he'll get that hide. He loves you. He's going to get you. He who he loves, he chases. Look at it. 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 The Lord, the, listen. The Lord's covenant. Was as faithful as ever because God's faithful love endures forever. His love endures what? What does forever mean? It don't never run out. But that don't get you energy. No, no, no. Here, 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 here. Here's the struggle in being saved. Because here's the struggle when they got set free. Yeah. You mean God still love us? Yeah. Yeah. Out of sin, out of, I'm, we guilty. And God, see that's your struggle. You don't believe God really forgave you because some of the stuff you still doing. Is it just me? You do it, you did it last night. It's done cross your mind in Sunday school. But God. For real, what you looking crazy for? He still your sin doesn't stop God from being God. So why are you looking at somebody else's sin? See, they all was guilty. They, they was all. He locked them all up. The whole nation. At the same time, in the same place, under the same ruler. And he let them all free at the same time, too. He kept them all at the same time, too. Did he? See, you being kept, you don't even know when to shout. You being blessed and still don't know when to shout. You don't even know when to shout. You, the enemy sitting there telling you, no, he ain't talking about you. He, yes, he is. Y'all, this is good stuff, man. Listen, 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 listen. Yeah, yeah, this is good stuff. 
It says, God's faithful love endures forever. Mm -hmm. It says, it says, that's why I like this book, George. It says, discuss what are some difficulties of packing for various types of trips? What are some difficulties in package, packing? You know, when you go out of town, you know. Bobby, I hate watching these women. They just take the whole house. You go for two days. You got 14 pair of drawers, nine drawers, 17 pair of shoes, 90, 92 outfits. Honey, we just got to make sure. Don't you know they charge you out the two bags? You know what y'all say? Well, it's just in the budget. Y'all know when I went to, y'all remember when I went to, uh, to Punta Cana? One backpack. I had some Speedos. I told y'all I had some Speedos. <laughs> you got two pair of shorts. You ain't doing too much. The swimming shorts is just that swimming shorts. But y'all put on a y'all put on a swimsuit to go to the pool. Go change to put one on to get in the pool. <laughs> then go change again to get out the pool. What in the world? That get too much changing. You take a bag to the pool. How much stuff you packing on your journey? God said don't take nothing. I'll supply your needs when you get there. I don't need you boggled down. You know what? You know what? You know what? It don't take nothing. You just get up and go where I tell you to go, and I got you when you get there. You know what? You know why some of y'all can't do the work of the Lord? Because you packing all that mess with oh God. God told you to let's go. Well, let me go get my my first husband. Second and third. Let me go get this weed that I let me go get all my vices. Let me pack all my toys. And let's see where God's going to take us. Girl, you can't get nowhere because it's too much to choose. See, you want to be so prepared that you miss God's spontaneity. You, you want to be so ready that you give God no room to be God. Leave that stuff back there. Yeah. And let me tell you, yes, you did it. He called you anyway. He didn't have to, y'all. We, we, we. Listen, some of you can't praise him now. Packing that mess. That happened to you when you were six, yeah. 10, yeah. 15, yeah. 12. You, you 45. Yeah. Missing God. Yeah. And the stuff you need to bring you leave. You go all the way out of town, all your hygiene stuff, you left the You ain't planting on brushing your teeth. Oh, yuck mouth. You know why it's yuck mouth on the trip? Because it's yuck mouth at home. Certain stuff you just got to have. When I get up in the morning, Sister Pride, I don't go nowhere without my wallet. Oh, everything I need is in here. If I ain't got no more wallet, I'm dead. I can go buy some more clothes. Yeah. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. 
You know how you got to know how to pack the right stuff. As long as I got God in my spirit. As long as Christ is in my heart. long as the Holy Spirit, I'm good. Now to get up without God, we in Look at this. Nehemiah seemed to be living a pretty great life. The exiled Hebrew had proven himself to be a trustworthy servant to the king of Persia uh, Persia, and and so lived a life of privilege. Likely without a care to his shelter, food, or protection. But as stories often go, one day everything changed. No longer could Nehemiah simply sit in his comfortable life and pretend he didn't know what was going on. Mm. In the place he longed to call. It ought to be getting on your nerves that you pretend. It ought to bother you to sit here and know something needs to be done you won't do. I pray when you walk across the parking lot and you pass the paper, your knee start yeah. hurting. Yeah. Yeah. Make you have to, 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 make you you get on the battlefield for the Lord, yeah. Yeah. ain't no comfortability in there. Right. You know why? Because you always face with the unknown. Yeah. The comfortable part that does come with it is knowing that you're not by yourself. Yeah. Yeah. Can you imagine Nehemiah eating good, living good, sleeping good, and in the back of his mind, man, my home is not doing right. The, the, my place of home is struggling. Yeah. Yeah. Do you not understand that the cupbearer had to have a poker face? Uh-huh. His job was to taste the drink for the king drunk. And his facial expression yeah. is what the king looked for. Yeah. God is looking for your facial. And boy, it sure don't look like he done nothing for you. Your countenance is not where it should be for you to talk about God as much as you talk about it. Oh, God said, now this ain't making sense to me. Say, Nehemiah, what's wrong with you? What's hindering your prayer? See, I know how your counter this really is. I know how it normally is, but some ain't. What, what is it? Nothing. You lying. A real friend say, Now, what's wrong with you today? Be sitting there talking about. No, Donna. No, no, no. This is how you know they like. No, Pastor, I'm good. You always talk to us. You always bouncing around here, strutting your stuff. Now you won't say nothing. 
That's what God be saying. Wait a minute. They were just shouting and holding in a prayer. They was high-fiving, drinking the free coffee. But now we're in worship. They slipping. That, 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 that just don't. That, that, that just don't match. That something's wrong with this picture. You only rejoice when it's fun. There's no excitement when we're talking about God and His Word. That face don't match God. And God, He used me to call you out. Because the king said, Nehemiah, what's wrong with you, man? Yeah. You better tell me now, I'm going to kill you. See, that facial expression was so real. The king said, if you don't tell me what's wrong with you, you're going to die. Because you my guy. You intercede for me. And if you wrong, I don't stand a chance. God said, you're supposed to be for me. And if you're looking like that, oh, we in trouble. What is it? Talk to me. Let me go and set you free. Whatever you've done, it's been forgiven. So why are you still looking like that? Whatever you're doing, I've already written it off. So why are you still looking like something wrong? Because Satan is screaming in your mind. No, he didn't. No, he didn't. No, he didn't. You don't have what you have. He don't forgive you like you said. He don't forgive you for all your past. One sin. See, he said the tone, y'all. We, 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 he too good to us, church. Your error does not stop him because he called you with your error. Yeah, he did. Yeah, he did. Thank you, Lord. Yeah, he did. He was with him. Can I bless your game? As low as you are right now, as sinful as you are at this moment, as much as you don't have, as much as you overcompensate, come on. God says, I'm there with you even right now. And you still won't say nothing? Well, I don't, I'm not vocal. Well, put a smile on your face. Do something. You know, if I, if I couldn't say a word, do something. The Bible says, let the redeemed. It didn't say, think about it. It didn't say, meditate on it. It said, let the redeemed of the Lord. You know what? People don't muzzle you. It don't take all that. How you know? It take all that for me because, boy, if you know like I know how messed up I am. I rejoice every chance I get because God looks beyond my faults and still see my. Have you ever been? Have you ever been to a, a, a family reunion? And there, you know, it's different cliques at the family reunion. Different things going on. You know, they, they got the gospels over there. Don't nobody pretty much go over there but gospels. You got the people that's packing place off over here. You be like, everybody talking about them. You got the game players, you know, people that playing the games. And, and you got the people, you got this one little section that's just off the chain. I mean, I mean, they just crunk. You know, I mean, they dancing, they drinking, they smoking. Now, that's the group right there. And have you ever noticed that everybody kind of gravitate to that group? You don't smoke. You don't drink. But boy, the energy is hot over there. You know what I'm talking about? And you were talking about, then all of a sudden you don't raise that. Boy, I'm gonna you over there talking about, yeah, wave your hands in the air. Got authorized and wave them like you did. Oh, hold on, hold on. Help me sit down, Bubba. Help me. <laughs> but, you, but you be with the group, right? Because they're having a good time, right? Don't let Sister Park and Brother Park fool you. I ain't going to never forget them. I ain't gonna, this, they came to my party. I, ain't gonna, I don't even like them. One of them. I don't even like them. Park over there talking to all playing down low. Hey, I'm like, how she know he winning? But when you're connected, the energy transfers, Mike. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 
So I looked over there and told him, I'm at 25 because you looked at her. Let me get this free, this free, this free. Somebody say free. Don't you know you can have fun being saved? Y'all you, you, too serious. Man. I, I don't know where y'all get this seriousness from because that's not me. I'm scoring. Oh, God, I'm having a good time. wrong with you? <laughs> you can hide. Yeah. Can I go and bless the game? Yeah. When there's a burden in your heart, you can't hide it. Yes, right there, right there. Right there. Here's the problem. You're trying to muffle it. But it ain't It ain't that you're scared that it's in there. You're scared yeah. it's that good. Yeah. And you're muffled to fit in with these low life. I mean, these people that ain't really good. Go on, do your thing, baby. Quit dumbing down and sitting at the church. Yeah. All right. My God. You know how many people say, I'm, what's wrong with it? On fire. Okay. Yes, indeed. Now, now, I'm going, you know, Thursdays right now. Yeah. 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 So we was out. So I went to the spot to surprise. You might come on with me, baby. And Thursday is steak day. Uh -huh. All right. Ten dollar steak. Okay. I said, how many steaks y'all got? I'm gonna pack this plate. Yeah. Now my, my food ain't got no money, but they got ten dollars. Yeah. <laughs> we ain't gotta go. To, we ain't gotta go to pay every to pay hundred. You can come yeah. go hang out with me and pay ten. Uh -huh. So I woke up in there, y'all, and they were jamming some dance. My classmate told me, that's the pastor. I said, shut up! <laughs> <laughs> I said, I ain't call you the hoe! They stopped dancing because they found out. I said, don't do that. Yeah. Your pastor was down the street. You yeah. just didn't know it. Yeah. Uh, you probably ever had it. Yeah. <laughs> Stop that! Yeah. We're here having a good time. Yeah. Yeah. I'm going to tell you what's the trip with black people. Yeah. I went to a meeting. Uh, it's called Connecting Business Men to Christ. They had good food. The best beer in the house. Yeah. Only black for who? Oh, they're drinking beer. You smoked the blood coming. You black people are missing God. Yeah. For real. Yeah. You're the most you're the most prejudiced, segregated people in the world. Yeah. Especially this time of day. Yeah. Tell the truth. The man had a summer session, Sister Jardine. It's called beer, brocks, burgers, and Bible study. Yeah. They baptized four souls in the pool. Yeah. 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 Q experiencing God like never before because he don't have a church here no more. He go to different houses. And the folk that don't come to the building to go to the house. Don't 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 be surprised when we start having a little Bible studies away from you. Because they ain't coming here no more. You know why? Because you fake. See, when they come to your house, you can't hide who you really are. Yeah. You ain't that clean that you come to church. Yeah. <sighs> you lying. Yeah. But when you meet people where they are, yeah. great things can happen. Yeah. Yeah. You, we come to your house and eat. You ain't like you don't even live in that house. You, we know you lying. Girl, you got kids. We know you got some socks somewhere. Stop this fakeness, man. Yeah. 
And Nehemiah was trying to be faith, yeah. trying to hold together, but his heart was broken. Yeah. Right. Oh, I'm still in my list. Success yeah. in the Lord's mission is based on His lasting promises. Yeah. His yeah. lasting promises. Please remember what you commanded your servant Moses. Yeah. If you are unfaithful, I will scatter you among the people. Mm-hmm. But if you return to me yeah. and carefully observe my commands, yeah. Even though your exiles were banished to the farthest horizon, I would gather them from there and bring them to a place where I chose to have my name dwell. There are your, they are your servants and your people. You redeem them by your great power and strong hand. Please, Lord. Let your ear be attentive to the prayer of your servant and to that of your servants who delight in reverse and in re, in reverse and revere your name. Give your servant success today and grant him compassion in the presence of this man. At the time, I was the king cupbearer. If God is in control. And already knows the future. Why pray? The Bible teaches that although God has a plan for this world that he promised to fulfill, prayer is often the means God uses to accomplish his divine purpose. Even though God knows the end result, the means that lead to that end result will be accomplished through prayer. In this sense, it is true that prayer changes things. Yes, Have you ever been sitting there talking, Lord, I don't know what this is. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But I know you're able. Amen. Lord, I done tried everything I can do to touch right now. Amen. See, see, you're going back to his problem. You, Lord, you said you'll never leave me. No, for say, you said if we call on you, you'll answer. Yeah. When you, you said you look high. Yeah. And you look, I'm out here dying, man. Yeah. Jesus. Will you move right. like only you can move? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Will you touch like only you can touch? Will you heal and deliver like only you can do it? So that we can see your glory. Yeah, yeah. Amen. Yeah. The phone rings. Right hey, Sister Cam, how you doing? Hey, baby, how you doing? Girl, I've been on you $200 for so long. I need to bring over. I'm going to actually give you $300 because she needed $300. Uh-huh. You ain't never saw him do that? Yes, sir. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Quicker than right now, God moved. Why did he move? For your good and his glory. He needs us to know that we can call on him at any time. About anything. Anywhere. Call on me. And I'll answer. He said, call on me. And it is also true that God uses prayer to change your heart. So that our will comes into conformity with his. Oh, when you pray, he'll change your heart. You'll lean not to your own. They may not say that they're gonna say no. You know what you say? Lord, anything is possible. Yeah. He'll change your heart to be lined up with him. Yeah. You ain't praying that nobody else get hurt. Yeah. That's not a prayer from God. Yeah. Yeah. Lord, turn this thing around. Yeah. Fix it like only if you're praying for somebody's demise, yeah. something wrong with you. He ain't in that. God is not in that. He says, love those that hate you and pray for those that despitefully miss you. Call their name out. God, help them right now in the name of you. People talking about, you know, God, hear my prayer, baby. You hear mine too. 
You ain't the only one that can get a prayer too, through. Be careful of your prayer. My prayer ain't finna tear nobody else down. My prayer ain't finna make it right for all of us. My prayer finna ask the God in so he can do what only he can do. If you pray anything else that he bless you and not bless somebody else, that ain't God. Selfish. You praying to miss. Okay, what your situation is? Prayer. Cause don't you know it was terrifying for him to have that on his mind and still be working for the king? You can't tell him that. Don't you tell me what God won't do. What parables do you see between Nehemiah's situation and Esther's situation? Both had personal access to a Persian king. Both realized the need for God's intervention. Both realized they would, they would need to risk their standing in the palace and perhaps their lives in order to obey God. Are you willing to risk your own life for the king? How many people you let slide because you knew because you knew the suffering was gonna fall on you? How many times you stayed at home because you had a lesson and knew that you wasn't ready? And somebody's life would change. You done been in choir rehearsal and sung your song. Nobody gonna sing your Sunday. Ugh. I ain't feeling this. You ain't supposed to feel it. You're supposed to do it. Can I be honest with you? A whole lot of times, I don't feel it. I taught, I taught yesterday. I teach Monday through Friday. I taught yesterday. I got three times this morning. I, taught, I, didn't, I, didn't, I didn't deprive my men class. I ain't depriving you of Sunday school. Even though it's the wrong lesson, God, the Holy Spirit, fixes that. And I got to preach in a minute. And you know what y'all looking for? A hard word. You don't care about it. I don't care if we lose his voice. I need to work, God. See, when you pray, Lord, help him. <clears throat> me, me, mama, move. Somebody praying. Did it just come on through? Because yeah. I come in and say, come on up here and teach God. Oh, well, something wrong with it. I ain't got my notes. <laughs> come on up here and contest and uh, join Satan to teach together. I can say that. <laughs> Who are you talking about? But when you in tough situations yes. for God, yes. that's a difference, man. He lose his mind. He be like, "That's why I picked you." Yeah. And you know why this church is moving, but it could be much faster because you won't do what He told you to do. You're not listening. You're not yielding, and we're doing great. Man, there's some stuff we're gonna show y'all this week now. Next week, uh, when we had a church meeting, man, we, we bad. Our books is tight. But so many of your names ain't on there. There's too many names sitting here that ain't on the list. And you're the one doing the shouting the most. You pack the most stuff off when we're giving away something. You're praising the hardest. Nothing by your name. 25 people take up 8% of the load in this church. Can I bless you? When the church is the pack, that's when we take up the leash. Oh, you think we wall to wall? Stand up. No! When it's like this, the 25 are sitting in here. Rest of you just fillers. You're just fillers. And God is too good to you. You got more stuff now than you ever had. Well, I, Pastor, you don't understand. I don't have it. I don't, I don't understand. Because if I look at your, if I look at your, 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 your account, it's got a lot of cash up to your kids. Wow. You got it. God's just not a priority. Yeah. Yeah. You're not willing to sacrifice and put yourself on the line for God, but you always begging. Can I bless you again? Come on. Point 
two, success in the Lord's mission is based on his abundant provisions. Not yours. Because you'll thank you somebody. That's why God don't let you do certain stuff because we, we're quick to think it's us. Yeah. Honey, did you see yeah, yeah. what I did? Baby, you didn't do that. You ain't that good. God did that through you. Did you call his name? Yeah. Okay, he ain't going to use you no more. Uh, you know how they had them one-hit wonders? Yeah. You're one and done. You do one thing for the Lord and you're done because yeah. now you think you God Jew. Yeah. Yeah. So I'm not using you. I, I can't use you. Look what the Bible says. During the month of Nisan, in the 20th year of King, uh, uh, yeah, him. No, there's Art. Who? Art of Zetra. That's it right there. When wine was set before him, I took the wine and gave it to the king. I had never been sad in his presence. Here I come. So the king said to me, why do you look so sad when you aren't sick? This is nothing but sadness of heart. I was overwhelmed with fear and replied to the king, may the king live forever. Why should I not be sad when the city where my ancestors are buried lies in ruins and its gates have been destroyed by fire? Then the king asked me, what is your request? You don't even know what it's out. So I prayed to God of the heavens last in the last in point number one uh, uh, and answered the king, if it please the king and if your servant has found favor with you, send me to Judah and to the city where my ancestors are buried so that I may rebuild it. The king with the queen seated beside him asked me, how long will the journey take? And when you will return? And when will you return? So I gave him a definite time and it pleased the king to send me. I also said to the king, if it pleases the king, let me have letters written to the governors of the regions west and of Euphrates River so that they will grant me safe passage until I reach Judah. And let me have a letter written to Asap keeping the king's forest so that, I will, so that he will give me timber to rebuild the gates of the temple's fortress, the city wall, and the homes where I live. The king granted my request. For the gracious hand of my God was on me. I went to the governors of the regions west of the Euphrates and gave them the king's letter. The king had also sent officers of the infantry and cavalry with me. Oh, 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 oh. Uh, were Sanballas and uh, Horonites and the, uh, Tobiah and the Amorites. Officials heard that someone had come to pursue the prosperity of the Israelites. They were greatly displeased. Now, wait a minute. He asked God, for, he asked the king for the letter and for support. And the king said, I'm going to do that, but I'm also sending you my army. See, when God do it, he don't do it halfway. When God do it, he does it all the way. And you got to understand the success of the Lord's mission is based on his, his abundant provision. Let me tell you something. If God ain't in it, it ain't going to work. 13 years ago, I put that thing out there, yeah. that model, yeah. and when he built it, it's going to supersede everything we ever thought about. Yeah. Other ministries are being blessed because they're talking to me. They're on conference calls in four different states. Talking about little old Pleasant Hill. Don't you tell me what God won't do. Yeah, 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 yeah. 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 You need you to sit right there and laugh and think it ain't going to happen. Yeah. It's going to be what God says it's going to be, people. Yeah. In spite of me or you. Prayer. Change things. See, you got to, don't wait till the valley's over. Shout now. We've been shouting and praising God over this over this model since it went up. But we don't know how you're going to do it, but if it's going to be done, you're the one that's got to do it. Ain't nobody rich in this church right now. Y'all hear me say right now, though. You don't even know what to shout. Ain't nobody rich in this church right now. But it's coming. 
It's already there. He's just waiting for you to believe that he'll do it for you. Because my God shall supply. Oh, my Outline number one, they praise. Outline number two, he did. Oh, when y'all, oh, oh. The, the, the cup bearer wasn't afraid to tell him what it was. Look, man, I'm, I'm perplexed. I'm, I'm not even here right now. Kim, if you must, but man, my, my hometown is in trouble. God won't let this thing rest. It's all on me. Do something, man. Not do something. Can you give me some letters? Yeah, yeah. <laughs> so I can go to where I need to go, get what I need to get. Come on, man. So it makes sense when they say they built it in 52 days. Yeah, yeah. He had to get back in a certain time. Right. You can't just be lollygagging on God's business. There's a window of opportunity with him. And he told him how long he would be gone. And God moved so he could honor his word and get back when he said he'll be back. Right. Right. Yeah. Glory to God. Yeah. Every detail is covered. Yes, it is. Yes. Then the king said, well, you didn't ask me for protection. Let me send you something else. I'm going to give you more than what you... Uh, yeah. Do you hear that? Yeah. I hear your prayer, but I know what you left out. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. God say, I heard you. But aha, there's a few more things you need, Lakimia. I'm going to add that because I heard your prayer. Let me seal this deal. So when all this stuff is set up, you know what you're going to say? My God. How many times you know, when God starts moving, you start calling his name? How, how many times when God starts showing out, you come up? Oh, God, thank you, Jesus. Glory to your name. Glory. My God. Have you ever just said, my God? Be losing our mind because only you know how deep you go to with God. See that that prayer that wake you up in the middle of the night. I mean, it's, I ain't talking about when you just wake up and automatically pray. I'm talking about when you're in a deep comatose sleep. Father God, we He wake you up and have you to start calling on. Man, He said, "I'm finna move, baby." You didn't wake up on your own. I woke you up. I already know you don't know how to pray. Don't you know I can move by your groans? Don't you know y'all got a worldly prayer life with you? But when you wake up out of your sleep and start calling on God, and he show up and show up, and you won't even tell nobody? Amen. Amen. He woke you up coming to talk to him. And you roll over to me. I don't know. I ain't even sleep no more. Yeah. What you doing? Give me some I'm gonna drink me some coffee and get dressed. I gotta go. I'm up. Ready to go. Cause I prayed a prayer. And immediately he answered. Oh, y'all. Oh, he, he must ain't mean to answer you. He, he done already moved on you. You don't know how you made it. You know, you, you wrote yourself off. When you wrote yourself off, God wrote you in. Not today, baby. I got something for you. What the devil meant for evil, I'm going to use that for your good, Andre. I'm going to turn that around. So when I turn around, you can't say nobody. Do I have anybody know what I'm talking about? Do I have it? He's an on time God, man. God takes care of his own. Are you his? Act like it. I said, Andre, where you? Where you? Why are you at Susan right there? Oh, it's my job. What's that? What you doing with my project, man? How you get your job? God. I don't even. I ain't even qualified for this. 
You know what? Let me tell you something. Let me, when God put the stamp on you, oh, y'all don't even know what it's I don't care what the resume say. I don't care what the people in control say. But when God say, oh, y'all going to get this later. When, when God say, when he put the proof on you, that car you need to show up, that house you need to show up, the job you want to show up, that, that business you need to come through. See, God says, I, I've already taken care of you. I'm just waiting on you to yield to me. I'm waiting on you to throw your hands in the air and wave them like you just don't care. Because if God don't do it, it can't be done. Work, work, don't stop, stop. I'm all over the place. Why? Because the God I serve he may not come when I want him, but my God is always on time. And he does exceedingly, abundantly, above all I could ever ask. Put some skin in the game. Be willing to risk your life so that you can live for him. Lay your life down so he can stand you back up in the kingdom. So now you're making history. And what is history? It's his story. You know, huh? I've been pretty wild, but God won't let this thing leave with me. What's wrong with you? you want me to... The Lord want me to teach Sunday school. What? Teach Sunday school? Yeah, I won't. This thing won't move, man. There ain't no class open. I don't know what he's doing, but, man, I got to teach Sunday school. Ooh, baby. Pastor, I got to have surgery. I'm going to be out for about six months. Can you find somebody to teach my... Come on, baby. I already got it. Somebody say, I already got it. Ooh, somebody say, I already got it. Everything you need, you already got. He just went to you to call on him. He just went to you to believe in the show. Us. And talk to him like you already got it. And show up. He said, What? Well, I got him where I need him. This is the last one I'm finna go. Listen, number one. My God. Number one. Success in the Lord's mission. Is based on his lasting promises. Number two, success in the Lord's mission is based on his abundant provision. On whose? His. Success in the Lord's mission is based on his unstoppable. Oh, wait a minute. Wait a minute. You, you, you can't touch. You can't stop. Listen. Listen. Can't nothing stop the power. Listen. And that power that can't be stopped is the power he gives you. Uh oh. Uh, no, you're unstoppable in him. The assignment that he gives you, when you know it's from him, Sister Eason, it's unstoppable when you let him lead and guide you. No weapon. Formed against me shall prosper. Now watch this. It didn't say it wouldn't form. See here, 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 here where you gotta get this. Here where you need to start being real. Here where you know it's unstoppable. It can form, but it ain't going nowhere. You can camp all around me, but my God is unstoppable. It can form. But it will not. Yes, No weapon formed against me shall prosper. You sang the song, but you need to walk like you believe it. You gotta stand up in it. Don't he slay me? But God be for me. No weapon. Why won't prosper? 
because I'm standing in the truth. I'm standing in his power. I'm standing in his provisions. I'm watching him. I'm, I'm talking to him. I've surrendered to him. I've asked him to do it. I've told him my insufficiency. And God said, wrote yourself. You, you should have been done a long time ago. Can I get some witnesses? The people wrote you off a long time. You was wrote, the Satan wrote you off before you even got started. Oh, but God said before I formed you in your mother's womb, I knew you. I have plans for you, plans to prosper you and not harm you. Plans to give you and expect it. Are you living in the plan? Is your life the plan that God has for you? No, we're supposed to have more. We're supposed to be exceedingly abundantly blessed. Because he's doing it. The problem is you taking credit for God because you think you're doing it. If God don't do it, baby, it can't be done. I'm standing here right now not because I'm so good. Not because I speak so profound. Not because you like me, but because God placed me here. And I stand on his word. I stand behind him. When you throw your darts, I'm dressed for it. When you say what you want to say, I don't have to move. Because I am like a tree planted by the rivers of water. And whatsoever I do, it's going to prosper. My leaves never wither. Because his word tells me that. Don't you say me. Yes, Lord. You know what the sad part is? And I'm good. The sad part is. You watching it, you ain't even a part of it. If you get on the page. And just roll with the voice that comes out of my mouth. He'll yeah. bless you. You'll be a part of it. You'll reap the benefits of this. You so caught up in what you think. What somebody done called and told you. Where's the fact that you get in the word of God and let God minister to your spirit? Where is it that you call my name out? Lord help you. Right now. Give me what I need to follow his route. Help me see what he see. Yeah. Or give me what I need to just say amen. amen. And roll with the flow. Yeah. Some of you are still fighting a fight you've been losing since you started. Oh. I've told you from God. Amen. It didn't happen. You're right about it. Amen. Now, right about it. Tell me, man. No, you right. not. So what's your name? Yeah. Uh, okay. Uh, see. He's doing the church, not yeah, me. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Don't look at me. Please don't look at this. Look to the author and the finisher of our me and Cuban together. He's a total change. His life is totally different. Hang with me. Not me, but me. Yeah. To him and me. Yeah. And his ministry flourishes. You know why? Because the man is in the right frame of mind. Yeah. Yeah. It hurts my heart. Hear me. To watch you suffer unnecessarily. Because you bring that old church stuff over here. Uh -huh. That old religious crap. Uh -huh. And we'll teach a straight relationship. Yeah. That God loves you in spite of you. Yeah. That as messed up as you are. Uh -huh. as, as many mistakes as you make. 
it does not stop him from being in you. If you say. See, stop looking at you and look at him. You can't do it by yourself. But we're going. And here we are. You got a cupbearer interceding on the behalf of the people. 